Hey you. Yeah you. Searching through YouTube. It's December so you know what that means. You forgot that you had that one nephew that you need to get a present for and you don't have enough time to shop for something so you're gonna 3D print it. But unfortunately whenever you go on Thingiverse or whatever all of the top toys are just like busts of Batman. But you're looking for that real stuff that'll trick your extended family into thinking that you love them. Well good news, this is the video for you. First up we've got this portable post-it note stereograph. Super simple to print and assemble. Just a few different pieces and a latch. The whole shebang is held together with a piece of filament that is inserted through the hinge. So you have this flip-up contraption which holds a bunch of gears and a few post-it notes. And here's how it works. You grab a post-it note and you stick said post-it note onto that space. You grab a gear, your favorite ballpoint pen, you pick a hole and you get to draw in. And in no time flat, you can draw yourself a bunch of cool little designs. You get to know what holes and what gears will deliver what pattern after a while, but at first, this thing is just a lot of fun to experiment with and see what kinds of shapes you kind of accidentally stumble upon. Pop that on the fridge for everyone to tell you what a talented young man you truly are. If you're gonna make one of these, be warned, they are highly addictive and you will find yourself doodling to the point where eventually your entire abode will be covered in spirally looking flowers on post-it notes. You're welcome. Next up we've got a classic puzzle. Good old fashioned T-Rex skeleton. In addition to this I might suggest finding some sort of like an interesting box or a handmade bag to hold all these together I think would be a good addition if you're gonna give these as a gift. But as they are, they assemble into a pretty cool sculpture so let's uh, see if I can do that. This is based on a personal experience. Back when I was but a wee lad, I got given a puzzle just like this one, except mine was made out of wood, so this is a bit of a 21st century upgrade. There you have it, a T-Rex for a little puzzle that uses hardly any filament. I think that's pretty darn cool. If you like your puzzles more old school, perhaps you'll like this classic Japanese ring puzzle. Once again, a very simple print. You just need your favorite filament. I use some wood fill PLA for this and a good old paracord. Now, just a little super glue. There you go, object of the puzzle, get this loop from this side of the contraption to the other without breaking the rope or breaking the puzzle or anything like that. It should just go from one side to the other. Appears to be physically impossible, but it is not. For as much of a classic as that puzzle may be, when it comes to classic games, there is only one reigning champion, good old fashioned chess. This is a board that I made out of those free sample linoleum tiles you get at Home Depot, but you could go with whatever board you so choose. You could even 3D print a board. What we're looking at here are the pieces. This is a set of Dubrovnik chess pieces printed in Woodfill PLA. They were all printed in this lighter white wood tone and then these I applied a wax stain and then over top of everything I gave it a coating of polyester resin. So far they seem to be holding up really good. These pieces also have an embedded hole in the bottom where you can actually load them up with pennies so each piece actually has a very satisfying weight to it and they're not prone to fall over. If I were to print these again, I would recommend printing at at least 25% infill. I went a little light on these and they, they feel it a little bit, but they're still weighty thanks to the pennies. Also put a little bit of felt padding on the bottom just to give them that premium feel. I think it turned out really cool, but overall very happy with this classic looking 3D printed Dubrovnik chess set. But perhaps you like your multiplayer tabletop games a little bit more futuristic. Well, you're gonna like my next recommendation. <laughs> Jenga Tetris. Originally released with a flat stable base, this version kicks it up a notch and gives you this wobbly platform to lay out your pieces on. Players take turns going one at a time, raising a Tetris-like sculpture to the sky until someone knocks the whole thing over. If you want to add a little bit of spice to your game and make it a little more challenging, I found that it's fun to implement a rule where you need to have the next piece touching the previous piece that was just 
laid down. That way, it kind of encourages you to sabotage the other player in addition to just trying to find a place to put a piece. This is a legitimately fun game that I'm actually going to be bringing to parties and stuff, so highly recommended. Print yourself this, even if you don't want to give it as a gift. Make yourself one of these. It's a lot of fun. This next one is completely out of left field, but I think you're going to love it. It is a 3D printed travel didgeridoo. I used a really terrible PLA for it, so it has some imperfections on the surface, but sound quality, this thing is a fully functioning didgeridoo that has simply been wound up on itself so that you can hold the entire length. I don't know what, how long this thing would be spooled out, maybe like six feet or something. It's not just looks, this thing is an actual fully functioning didgeridoo, if that's your thing. <laughs> just a dead simple print with a completely unexpected use and it looks really cool. Also, it kind of sounds like a fart and farts are funny. Next up, don't call it a Beyblade because it's definitely not a Beyblade. I like this a lot. It actually adds another level of skill to the fair game of Beyblade by uh, encouraging you to make your own thing. You can use different materials, different styles, and it's totally up to you. I think that makes it more of a challenge, and uh, I think victory in a good old blade duel would be all the sweeter for having created your own weapon. This next print is more of an artistic add-on to a classic Altoid tin. This one is a modified version, as you can tell, but inside is a portable watercolor set. As someone who does arts, this is just a delightful object to own. If I got this as a gift, I'd be just delighted. All, all it is is this 3D printed insert sits in the tin, but it just consists of a bunch of different compartments for different watercolored paints as well as a little mixing area. And then on the top, I just glued in a sponge to kind of wipe off your brush. It's great to be able to carry it around in my pocket when I'm in a water color and mood. And if I got this as a gift and someone had made this for me, I would be, dang it, I'd be charmed as heck. You've probably seen them before, but allow me to introduce you again to the Flexi Raptor. This is the single most favorite 3D print I have ever 3D printed. This flexi, bendy, poseable guy is the perfect way to get rid of the last bit of filament you have left over on a spool. And if you want to just hand out 3D printed trinkets, these things are the way to go. I absolutely love just cranking out a bunch and leaving them around like my work or even like a public park. Sometimes I'll leave them out in the park for kids to find, which is not littering because I said so. I have given so many of these away and it never ever fails to spark a tremendous amount of joy in the recipient. It's also a great thing to give someone who doesn't know anything about 3D printing because it's always mind blowing when you're like, oh yeah, and it printed all at the same time. It just came off the printing bed like this and watching them try to figure out how that could possibly be the case until they realize that it goes in layers and then they're hooked. Bet you next year they're going to be asking for a new print head for their Ender 3. The final print on this list may come as no surprise to you if you've been watching my channel the past few months. It's got to be Mark Rober's 3D printable compliant mechanism Nerf Blaster. I've been messing around with these ever since he released the design a couple months back. And they're super fun. They're super easy to print. They're pretty powerful for what they are. Just an absolute blast of a fun little science toy. I also designed my own game to go along with a customized version of this blaster and it involves these little 3D targets have magnets on them and you stick them to the fridge or whatever and you shoot little grappling hooks to try to rip them down off the wall. So I'll post a link to that if you're interested or a link to the video about it right there if you want to watch that. And for now, I hope that you have enjoyed this video and I hope I have brought you some inspiration. Let me know, is there anything you think should be on this list that isn't? Let me know how you think I did. Thank you very much for watching everyone. Hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more and I will catch you in the next one.